Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids, and um, I've got one of those instincts that um, just enables me to check and look at some of my orchids. And, and, and for some reason, I don't know. I just think, well, and I, I need, I just need to check that a little bit further. So this was a reply I had from Herbert regarding that cake he had got on my Kingianum, uh, the one that uh, Ed had sent me. And um, basically, you can read what it says there. Um, it can sometimes indicate that um, there's a problem with the roots. And, um, and I replied, um, I don't believe there is anything wrong with the roots. She seems to have plenty of uh, viable ones. Um, and that was it. But today, I, uh, I'll just move this out of the way. So today, I picked up this container. This is what she's in. And um, I undid the bung at the bottom because I could, I could tell by moving it back and forth that there was lots of water in. And yet there wasn't any water coming out. Uh, and this really then started me to think, well, why is there no water coming out? Because I can hear it. Um, so I had no alternative but to um, get these two orchids out. Uh, even though I knew I would be sacrificing some of the roots. But at the end of the day, let me just show you... Um, the result and the result was all this absolute sodden that's just one I pulled off wet medium I pulled all the lava rock out that was in it as well so this this Kingianum was sat in that pot there and it could have been drowning. So that instinct of mine, especially when I've had that patheo pedalum this week, um, was to get them out. Keith said to me, what are you doing now? And I said to him, I just need to check the roots. He says, yeah, but he says you plant. He says you're going to knock it back. And I said, yeah, I know I'm going to knock it back, but I'll kill it if I don't check it. So... Let me just show you now. I'll just have to get up and just put this behind me because if I don't, I'll uh, I'll tip it over and I don't want to tip it over. And uh, let's just... Bring these over here. So this is Kingianum Ellen, and let's just have a look at the one that uh, had the cake growing. Now that's the one that had the cake growing. Can you see it there? Now that cake was quite a purplish colour. Like, um, let's have a look. Let's pick her out. See whether this one's got a look at that. Now, I haven't even introduced any water at all from this. All I've done is to uh, pot her up in the uh, lava rock that uh, was on that tray. So let's have a look. I'm just trying to see if there's any new growths on this one. Maybe there isn't, maybe that's why she's sent a cakey. Now I can't see one. So maybe that's why we've got that cakey. Anyway. Um, I've repotted her now. See, she's got some roots there. I've not attempted to pull some of the uh, orchiata bark off her. 
because I'm disturbing her anyway by virtue of um, repotting her. But she's got viable roots and um, she's in this lava rock. And she just sits in that little pot. Look at the, see? Look at the wet. Right, now this is the, the bigger half. Oh, one of the other reasons I wanted to unpot her as well is that the other day I found a snail and I thought, blow me down. The tiniest little snail you could ever imagine. And uh, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to unpot her. Not that I need an excuse really, but um, let's just have a look at this one. And now this is the, oh, I have to be careful because she's jam-packed this one. Now, she's got some lovely roots, got nice green tips. Uh, she's got a new growth just peeping out just under there. And uh, to all intents and purposes, this one is absolutely fine. Look at that. Look at the, look at the runoff just by potting it back up into um, the lava rock that I took out of that uh, that green container. So um, I don't know anything about King Ganems, and uh, but I do know that um, if they're, they're like any other dendrobiums they do like to be tightly packed and I do find that the lava rock um, enables the uh, the roots to um, dry off and then by putting them in, in this kind of a pot now I should be able to let that water run through. See she's got some good roots. I mean we've had to sacrifice some roots. There's sometimes you just have to um, sacrifice, you know, the few for the many. And uh, she's completely hydrated now. My trousers are wet now. And uh, there's just a little bit of um, decorative gravel there. Only just to uh, fill in. There was a big hole I noticed. And uh, you see there's a root that uh, we lost the outer part. But the uh, that little... Vellum is it? I'm not sure. That's doing fine. And um, so these will now, that's a big plant that one is now, I'll now be able to keep my eye on these plants. Because we've gone through another cold patch, um, when I've watered these last we we were actually, you know, it was nice, the weather was lovely. And I think what's happened is that, um, in my enthusiasm, of course, um, they've been sat in uh, too much moisture. And uh, like Ed was saying, you know what I mean? Uh, too, mu too much moisture, well, uh, this is not too much moisture, this is just drowning the poor things, uh, is no good. So, uh, and uh, these are the other two I've got. This, these came from Curleen Orchidine in uh, Germany. And let's have a look at this one. And you see she's got um, a new growth there. Let's have a look. She's got a new growth there. And... Uh, she seems very healthy. Now I don't know whether the, the Kingianums are a little bit like um, some of the other dendrobiums in the sense that um, some of them are prolific uh, cakey growers uh, and sometimes people say well that's because you've watered them too much. Now I don't know whether that's correct um, but um, I certainly don't want to uh, to lose any of these Kingianums. This is the uh, the one that's the other part of that one I've just shown you. So it's Dendrobium uh, Red Splash. Oh, King's It Red Splash. And she's got a new growth there. She's got a new growth there. She's got a new growth there. And um, this is already a new growth. 
and um, this one looks as though it's uh, potted up in um, have I shown you that one? Uh, it, this one looks as though it's potted up in uh, orchiata bark and um, some hydrogen bowls I don't think this one has got any lava rock but this one's lovely and light. I can tell. Sometimes you can just tell by the weight of your plant. And, and like I say, let me just have a look if this one's got any signs of flowers coming. Because if you, let's have a look there. If you just, if you don't get it right, you might have something there. Then it's been I'm not saying it's been a complete waste of time, but if you don't get the conditions right, then these these kinganums or any orchid um, simply won't flower. Um, and I mean, I put these under um, under stress. This uh, dendrobium allen, and um, let's put that one back up there, and. Uh, that, that instinct, that gut instinct that I had this morning proved to be right. So, um, and like I say, there's just a few roots there, unfortunately. You know, it, it did like this pot, and it, it, in some ways it was good because it does have that reservoir at the bottom. But, of course, the downside of that is, is that if you put too much water in uh, and that bung is intact like that one was, then all I've done is really sat these poor uh, kinganums in, um, in water. And we don't want to do that. So just, um, just a short video today and I'm glad you could join me. And... Um, Enjoy the rest of your Bank Holiday Monday. Take care and we'll speak soon. Bye-bye now.